Customers came to a jeweler in Thornton looking to buy something special. They later learned that those diamonds were fakes. Their jeweler is now accused of swindling customers out of almost $150,000. Police say David Kushner tricked his customers. He owned D&D Jewelers in Thornton. Nine News reporter Jennifer Meckles spoke to one of Kushner's alleged victims and former friends. <laughs> It was a low blow when I found out this was all unraveling. Zawar Bayramov is not just a victim, but he says a former close friend of David Kushner. Close enough, Bayramov agreed to loan his friend money, $20,000, he says. When payments started becoming late and checks started bouncing, I became concerned and it was just taking way longer than agreed upon to return my loan. I decided to just have him make me a piece of jewelry. A diamond ring for Bayramov's fiance. He later learned it wasn't real. An arrest affidavit for Kushner details accusations from 11 victims, including Bayramov. One woman brought her Rolex in for repair and asked Kushner to make her a set of gold earrings. He allegedly fixed her watch with a Chinese part instead and made earrings out of fake gold. Her total loss, about $42,000. Another customer claimed he bought a diamond engagement ring from Kushner for $12,000. He later learned it wasn't a real diamond either. And several more customers said they gave Kushner their jewelry to sell, but he never paid them their money and never returned their jewelry. Some of these pieces have meanings to them or irreplaceable value that no money's going to replace. It is a loss that hurts Bayramov, not just financially, just, but as a former friend. I'm heartbroken by the situation. I can't imagine how other people feel. Jennifer Meckles, but 9 News. In the total losses for all 11 victims is $147,000. Kushner was arrested Tuesday at his home. He is due back in court later this week.